Hi everyone, in this lesson I'm going to introduce you to a new technique in InDesign and an advanced technique that allows you to work with multiple page sizes in one InDesign document. Now the downside to this feature is that it is a feature in newer versions of InDesign CS5 and above, so you do need a newer version of the software to be able to use this feature. But if you do have a later version, this is such a neat technique that you can use. Now, what happens when you're working, when you're just starting out with InDesign, is you're getting used to it, you're using one page size. So if you are creating something such as a letterhead, you're creating your letterhead, your business card, and your envelope all in different documents, saving them out as different PDFs and then sending them to the printer as three different documents. So this technique allows you to do all of that in one InDesign document and also saving it out as one PDF. So it's a great way for projects that go together and letterhead is a great example and that's why we're going to be designing our own letterhead in this in this lesson as our project because of that so you get a feel for it so the first technique that I'm going to show you the advantage of this technique is that you can use custom columns and margin settings because we're actually going to create different page sizes on different pages and the other technique that we can use is allowing you to use spreads to see all of the different page sizes. And what's great about that is you can see them side by side. So if you create your three components of your letterhead, you can see them side by side in the alternate technique versus the first one that I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna walk through both. That way you could pick the one that works for your project and you may find that you like one over the other and that's totally fine. Either way is going to work. So one thing that you need to keep in mind with this technique though is you do need a later version of InDesign, at least CS5, to be able to create this effect. So if you have older version of the software, this is not gonna be available to you. So let's go ahead and open up InDesign and get started on creating a new document. Now we're going to create all three, the letterhead, the business card, and the envelope in this lesson. And we're going to use two different techniques to do that. So the first technique, we are going to create a new document here. And we want to make sure that facing pages is unchecked. These pages are going to act independently of each other. So we don't want them to face. We don't want to create spreads. We just want them to be independent. And from here, you can go ahead and just create your standard A4 document. It doesn't really matter which one you create first. This is just easiest to start here. You're going to resize those pages afterwards. So we are going to create three pages here. So we might as well just set it up in our new document. This is going to be for our letterhead, our business card, and our envelope. And let's go ahead and add a standard eighth of an eighth of an inch bleed around all four of our sides. And if you have a later version, you can of course preview what's going on here and go ahead and hit OK. All right, so that's fairly standard, very easy way. The the only way to create a new page so nothing really different there but the magic is going to happen with the page tool that's available in InDesign and so what I want to do is have my pages panel open here just so we can see what's going on and we see over here that we have this option for our page tool so we're going to go ahead and select the page tool and notice that we now have some options that we can resize this it looks very similar to the transform tool that you may be familiar with with in this program, but also in Photoshop, it's going to handle very much the same way. Now the trick here is that you can select the page that you want to work on and then you can have the option to resize it. Now the key is that you want to be able to scroll down and select your pages from this side, not in the pages panel. You want to make sure that you're selecting it over here in the workspace. So let's go ahead and select number two. The first one is fine. That's going to be our letterhead. We're going to create the business card on the second page. Now the easiest thing to do with this is come up here into your control panel. You notice that it changes when you have the page tool added activated and you have some width and height options. You also have your standard custom templates already built in InDesign for you here. So we could go ahead and hit business card and immediately that page is now sized to the business card size by default, which is three and a half by two inches. So if we scroll up, you could see that it didn't impact our first page and it did not impact our third page. So really we now have a business card size document 
in addition to a letter size document. So the final step here with number three is to click number three and we're going to create a standard envelope. Now that size is nine and a half inches wide by 4.125 inches high. This is a standard number 10 envelope that's very common with business letterhead. So you can manually insert your dimensions here and then you notice that you now have a custom size. And so from here, we now have three different document sizes going on here and this allows us to create our letterhead. So for example, if you wanted to see what this would look like, we could go ahead and drop in a logo here just to visualize that. So I'm going to open up Illustrator where we have our logo and I'm going to grab one here. Just copy that. Go back to InDesign and drop this in. This is just so we can get a feel for what this letterhead might look like in an example. So we're going to copy this and we're going to paste this on our business card and obviously need to shrink that down a little bit. I'm going to zoom in slightly just so you could see it a little bit. And then we're going to come down here to our envelope and do the same thing. And that'll be somewhere over there. So now we have our envelope, our business card, and our letterhead all ready to go for designing. So what you can do now is you can go ahead and save this out as a template letterhead if you want to. The best thing is to just save it blank so you wouldn't save it with your logos per se. And then you have a blank template ready to go that you can use again and again for all of your letterhead needs as long as it's standard. If you ever needed to change up your sizes for a specific project, all you would have to do is click on any of your pages here with the page tool and adjust your pages as necessary. And for example, you can switch this out. Uh, this is a standard landscape version, but you can easily, easily click portrait and now you can design yourself a vertical business card. Now, what happens if you want to have two pages, right? So for business cards, when I design business cards, I always try to utilize that back side. So we're just going to click and drag this to duplicate and bring it up. So we have front and back. So now you can have the front and the back of your business card just like that, all in the same document. And now you have a vertical business card. But what if you want to have a vertical business card and a landscape backside. So you have, you have a portrait front and a landscape back. Again, it's very easy. Just make sure you click the page that you want. Click on this page tool, hit landscape, and now you can design your portrait size for the front and you can design the landscape style for the back and you would save all of that out. In the next lesson, we're going to look at the alternate technique that allows us to do the same thing, but instead of having them stacked like this where they all act independently of each other as far as pages go, we're going to look at a technique that allows you to design your different pages in spreads.